Welcome again to Silver Pros, sponsored by Hero Bullion. I am Yankee Stacking, and I'm here with my awesome co-host, Silver Dragons. Hey, what's up, everyone? How we doing? We're going to talk about a really timely topic. Has the bottom been reached for silver and gold? So let's actually check on silver's price action. And you can see right around the March 5th time frame, we were down, I think, yeah, we went below $25 an ounce. Wow. So just broke down there. And then after that, you know, it's it's actually been going up. So we're at 26, just past 26. What do you think? Mm-hmm. It, I mean, it, usually when it hits a bottom, we get a bounce. Yep. Um, you know, it, it it went down for a while. There was an, a pretty steep drop there mm -hmm. on one of the days. Mm -hmm. um, it was down like a dollar or something. I, I did a video on it, but right. Um, right. now we're chilling right at 26. So, you know, did, did we hit the bottom? Maybe. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into it a little bit more detail. Actually, I want to take a quick peek at gold. And, and that too, it broke down below 17. We're down to 16. I think, the, I don't know if this is intraday or closing, but it was at 16.79. And wow. we really made some rapid recovery here. Right now it's at 17.24 and change. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think, wow, well, man, when I saw gold <laughs> below 1700, I, all I was thinking was bye, 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 bye. That is you know. exactly what I was thinking, my friend, and that's exactly <laughs> what I did. I went to Tim's and scarfed up two one ounces. That's awesome. But I did get silver too, right here. So these um, uh, ten eagles. I had a great live stream with uh, Mukaram, uh, the CIO of Blackstone Commodities Group. He's on with me uh, every month on uh, Ask Yankee, and he did a phenomenal job of charting out what was going on. He showed the you know, the weekly RSI, the stochastic charts. He, he, he indicated that gold especially was significantly oversold, and he thought that uh, silver was holding its own, but also was as well. And he was looking at the stochastic lines to cross, and he's like, Yankee, this could be the bottom. Did you see that video? Yeah. Yeah, it was a good video. Yeah. And he brought up a lot of good points too. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think if as far as what, you know, what I do, looking at mm -hmm. everything as a whole, mm -hmm. I don't really dive into the technicals, right. but he did a really good job explaining it. And I I think short-term downtrend mm -hmm. for gold. Mm -hmm. And um and it's okay to say that, right? <laughs> you know. Yes, nobody exactly. panic. Nobody <laughs> panic, exactly. But the technicals really looked like we had were about to turn the corner. And the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is the fundamentals of what's going on. And Mukaram said there were three things he thought that were depressing precious metals. The first was the spiking bond yields that we saw. Right. And they, they went parabolic. Um, he talked about stimulus, uh, especially with central banks all around the world and needing to spend on that and maybe sell some of their gold. And then he mentioned mm -hmm. Bitcoin. The crypto. Yes, he did. If, if you know, when yeah. you take everything into account, right, you got to look at alternative currencies mm -hmm. and, you know, whether you have money in Bitcoin or you've looked into it or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, a lot of money is flowing into Bitcoin, a lot of money. And where would that money be flowing if Bitcoin didn't exist? Probably precious metals. Yeah, at least part of it. I agree. Some of it, yeah. I don't think we're seeing, and neither did Mukarram think that we're seeing people selling their silver and gold to buy Bitcoin. I, I think we're looking at right. two different uh, trends here, but it is it is a factor. I don't know if you saw the job report. It was it was really shocking. It, it the unemployment dropped uh, six point two percent. Very bullish. Wow. I know, right? Wow. It was not what they expected. Um, and everybody thought, oh, this is it. This is a recovery. This is what we've been waiting for. It's all going back it's to normal. It's all going back, baby. No. <laughs> a lot of those, in fact, majority of them were like, you know, waiters and bartenders. And if you peel back that number and look behind the curtain, it's not good. We have 14 million people on government support. We've wow. got 
40, more than 40 million people on food stamps. We've got all this stimulus. And here's a, an interesting fact. Do you know that we're still losing jobs at a rate that we have never seen before in our lifetimes? Really? We're still losing jobs. Nothing fundamentally has changed. You know, the bond yields we mentioned, they went parabolic. Why? Because nobody wants our debt. At least not at, yeah. at least not at such low interest rates. I honestly think we're going to see another repo market crisis that we saw back in uh, end of 2018. And what and what did they do? They bailed them out. <laughs> they right? did. They re exactly. We're and going, so we're going to see it again. Bail them out again. We're buying 120 billion dollars worth of bonds every month. They're just going to buy more and more and more. The markets don't think that's what's coming. They are literally trying to figure out the answer to how long is the Fed going to keep this emergency policy in place? You know, the the you know, interest rates on the short end stuck at zero, right? They're looking at that and going, it's got to end. They're going to start raising interest rates because of inflation. They're going to start tapering their bond purchases. And they're wrong. They're going to keep doing this forever. Maybe forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but here's the thing. You know, Wall Street, they they really, they want things to be back to normal, clearly. Mm -hmm. That's what they're hoping for. That's what they're they're thinking mm -hmm. is going to be the case. And it it's probably not going to be the case. Man, I keep looking at silver and gold thinking, <laughs> these prices seem low. Last year, I was looking at silver yep. and gold. And, uh, and I was thinking, you know, when it hit 20 bucks an ounce, it when kept was going that? up. And I was, when was that? Uh, July, I think July of last year. You said something about 20, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So when silver broke 20 bucks, I said, we might never see sub $20 silver again the rest of our lives for all eternity. It might <laughs> never go yes. below 20. And it hasn't. Yeah. You know, we had this we had this little dip. It went below twenty five, right? But um, it, it's Boom. possible. It's very possible. It might just keep on, you know, flat or up from here. The bottom line is, is inflation. Yeah, that's what I look at. I look at what we're doing. The one point nine trillion dollar stimulus that was just passed and signed, and and that is inflation. We keep increasing our money supply. Jerome Powell. When he's asked the questions about inflation, he goes, what, what What are you talking about? There's no inflation. It's like a, like an inflation fire is starting behind him in a house, and he's standing out in front with the reporters, and he's like, uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't see an inflation. What, what are you talking about? And everyone else what is going, inflation, oh, man. no, 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 no. He, they, they're going to have to address inflation. The problem is they can't. They say they have the tools to fight inflation if it ever shows up. But that is the denial of reality. They can't. If, if your tool to fix inflation is hyperinflation, right. well, <laughs> and then new currency, <laughs> they would rather go down that path. I'm afraid, and and oh, for yeah. sure. W watch yeah. your grocery bills. I don't know if do you do the shopping in the uh, Dragon. I household? went shopping today. Good for I you. Went shopping today. I did too with Mrs. Yankee. But oh my word, guys, check your grocery bill out. See what's happening at the fuel pump. What's happening at Home Depots or Lowe's? You know inflation is here the dude lumber i know you know there was the, that recent thing with mm -hmm. gamestop and people see that and they're like oh you know these people are making a ton of money over on wall street bets yep. let's yolo some of the stimulus cash and see what happens <laughs> but why would you why would you yolo your stimulus money when you could just buy silver with it <laughs> you know you know i i don't know if you've had a chance yet to get over to wall street silver dude but i am like having fun in that forum on reddit it i think they're almost to forty thousand uh members over there or silverbacks as they like to call them um, oh yeah i yeah. think dude here's the silver lining i think millennials have become woke to silver I mean, it's I think, about time. I think so. <laughs> no, I do. And I think I think the bottom is in. And I think silver is going to be the place where more and more people go. I, I think that is a possibility for sure. I, I will say silver seems to be getting more popular. Mm -hmm. um, it, it 
it's been in the mainstream media a little bit. The fu- the funny thing is, it'll it'll get more attention when it goes higher, you know. The, so because it, everybody's kind of like running yeah. into it, right? Right. Yeah. So it's kind of like okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna be buying silver, you need to buy it before that point. You ever feel dragons that there's this buy high sell low mentality? They they mm-hmm. they sell it when it's when 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 it's down, and they rush into it when they see it's up. And they just keep getting burned. And it's it's the other way around. You want to be a contrarian. You want to be buying this stuff up now while it's while yeah. it was on sale. It was really on sale last week. You don't want to miss out on it. Here's a question for you too, Esty. Do you think the demand for silver, physical silver I should say, has waned? Um maybe a little bit. But there still is some you know, supply issues with like, like, for example, the U.S. Mint with their eagles, mm-hmm. you know, and they say, sure. oh, you know, we're, we can't we can't ship them out yet. We the the demand is too high. Right. We can't make them fast enough. And I think maybe one of the reasons for that is they're doing the new design this year. And so, you know, hmm. who knows why there's issues with the eagles, but there's but there's supply issues with the other things too, the rounds and the, you know, maples, et cetera, et cetera. And so I. I feel like the demand is still very strong. A lot of online bullion dealers are still having delays on their shipping. Uh, you know, if you go through the websites, almost all of them have a notice up at the top, you know, hey, one to two week delay shipping, um, which is kind of, you know, why I like going over to Hero Bullion. Mm-hmm. I, I know they're sponsoring the show and everything, but yes. they're very fast with the shipping. They are. They're, they're still the, shipping like they are. day of if you buy, if you do credit card. Well, I think you get that from a smaller bullion dealer that really cares about customer service and watches out for their buyers. Uh, he, you're right. Yeah. It's fast, man. I think that um, the demand has come down slightly, but it's still very strong. I think there's still a lot more demand than last year for sure. Um, Good point. Or, or even the year before. Uh, if we go back to 2019, 2018, uh, there was no demand. Right. There was no demand. The premiums were rock bottom. Yes. I mean, we were getting oh, eagles word. for a two seventy five premium. Can you imagine I, buying an American yeah, silver eagle for a two dollar and seventy five cent premium? That's, Can you imagine that right now? Somebody uh, liked one of my Instagram posts from uh, from twenty nineteen, and it was, "Hey, I got a couple eagles for thirty cents over spot." <laughs> I'm like, what? And I looked at that. I was like, did I really do that? Because <laughs> it doesn't feel that way now. When I bought these 10, I said, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tim, Tim what, what did you say they were again? Because <laughs> I couldn't believe the premium. But I really do believe we've seen the bottom. Uh, especially for gold, you know? Yeah. Because go- gold was really sort of flat or down for the last, what, six months? So you can see uh, but, gold but... was going down, yeah. Over six yeah, months. and and you, it's easy to 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 just look at the GSR mm. um, going down, and mm-hmm. you know that paints a picture right there. That's right. <laughs> so even if silver is flat and gold goes down, we see the gold silver ratio go down, which which you know has been happening. Um, but uh, yeah, I I agree. I think we did definitely see the bottom for gold uh, for silver. What do you think? I mean, we got what uh, 20, 20 more days. In the quarter, you got it. And uh, what are you thinking, Yankees? Uh, that, so, that well, what's what's sorry, silver man. at right now? Can we can we look at silver again? Sure can. I, I know you got the, the ratio. At, I was glancing at the ratio. Look at that. And and it's down. Look at that. That's it's six, down. Is that? Wait a minute. Let me just make sure we got six months here. Look at that. Six months on the GSR. Amazing. Coming down. Yep. So when yeah, if you're looking at silver, trying to hit the twenty six. It's around twenty six, just below. Um, I think you're going to see it at 27. That's your bold prediction? <laughs> it's going to break 27. Hey, that's what? Two and a half weeks? I think it will. I think it will. What do you think? It's sure. so hard to to make an accurate prediction. Even if you do this for your job. Mm. Like, if this is all you do, it's still incredibly difficult to it's be a right. a lot of factors involved here, man. Yep. Yeah. There I, is. I think... I think it's going to be flat or up. Um, I think I think we could see twenty seven for sure. I'll go twenty seven five. I'll be Ooh. I'll I'll be right around where you're at. All I right. think right. I think a modest prediction is more likely. Yes, you know that than a thirty dollar silver. 
Um, you know, we'll have to see. We had the stimulus package just just passed, the 1.9 trillion. The U.S. national debt mm. is. I, I talked about this in my last video. It's mm. over 28 trillion now. So we crossed over another trillion, um, <laughs> and no one batted an eyelash. You're right. <laughs> no Not one yet. even noticed. <laughs> Not yet, but we are noticing inflation, inflationary impacts to our day-to-day -day yeah. life. And I think this is lagging just a little bit behind. I, I really believe people need to be looking at whatever discretionary income that they can afford and buy more silver and gold if you can afford it, but definitely get some silver in because I don't, you know, we're, we're thinking long-term, right, SD? We're, we're, we're not traders by nature, right? Let, let me say this. It really doesn't matter where <laughs> silver goes. In, in the next three weeks it, really it could doesn't. go up it could go down it could you're go right. sideways it doesn't matter mm -hmm. honestly if you're wanting to buy more then you hope it goes down i i hope it goes down this is not a get in get out quick right. type deal and we're, and we're just really starting the bull run and if you want the crazy volatility and <laughs> high risk stuff why are you getting into precious metals this isn't <laughs> the high risk stuff this is the safe stuff. If this is the bottom, then then we might, I'll bottom. say it right now, we, we might never see sub $25 silver forever. I don't know. You're, it could have another yeah, drop. Yeah, you're right. It I still don't think it'll go under 20 <laughs> ever again. Oh, but uh, if right. this is the bottom, then it will never go under 25, which would be insane. <laughs> but But not oh, as crazy as you might think. I With think. all the money creation, the stimulus, this this could be it, man. I think from a fundamental, technical sentiment, uh, just history, dude, history. This is the time to be accumulating as much as you can. This was fun, man. Thanks a lot, Silver Dragons. Absolutely. And I hope those watching enjoyed our discussion today. We'll see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro.